Illegal immigrants taking over Springfield, Ohio. That's the focus. This is Ryan with Conservative Corner Entertainment 2. If you want stuff sugar-coated, this is not the broadcast for you. I'm done sugar-coating stuff. You know, normally, I'll have a pre-written message on the prompter that goes across my screen, and I read it. So, you know, I'm not going to do that here. I'm not going to do that today. I'm not going to do that right now. I have had enough. Shit has gone too far. Over 20,000 Haitian immigrants recently have been dropped off in Springfield, Ohio. They've been on the news. They've been recorded. They've been busted by police, um, killing neighborhood pets and skinning them and eating them. Cats, dogs, geese from the local park. Uh, an 11-year-old was just killed by an illegal immigrant Haitian there. When is enough enough? In Colorado, uh, uh, Aurora, Colorado, illegal immigrants are literally taking over whole buildings. And because it's a sanctuary city, the police can't do anything. <laughs> so if one of us takes a stand against this kind of thing and we shoot them, we go to prison. We go to jail. And they get to do this and they don't. They aren't even Americans. We are American. How long are we going to let this happen? Springfield, Ohio. That's about four hours from here on the east side of Ohio. But it's still too close to home. You know, I'm getting pissed because I think about it. That could be my nephew. That could be uh, uh, my kid. That could be my neighbor's kid. You know, that could be one of our own next. How far? How far are we going to let this continue to happen? Because I'm getting pissed. And I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I'm ready to help put a stop to it. Are you? We need to vote Donald J. Trump for president. And I'm telling you now. I'm telling you. And I'm not, I'm not telling you from a, from a right-wing perspective or a left-wing perspective. I'm not telling you from any side or the other. I'm telling you as a human being with a brain. Our country is doomed. If Trump does not get in there, forget it. You won't survive. I won't survive. The only people that will survive are the elites, the important folks, and the ones who are already wealthy. Regular people like you and I will not survive. That's why I am on here constantly trying to advocate for, for Donald J. Trump. You know, he's no king. He's no messiah. He's no savior. But what he can do, what he can do is straighten this country around, and then maybe we can all afford to live a little bit. You know, we get nothing. We get zero. We get the shaft as Americans, and illegal immigrants get to go and do whatever they want to do. Time is up. The time is now. You have to decide what side you're on and who you're with. Are you on the side of America and right, or or are you on the uh, on the side of communism and wrong I, I don't i don't know how else to put it um you know th th this has gone too far we americans have had enough we can't take it anymore i can't take it anymore i'm tired of hearing about innocent american lives being taken by illegal immigrants how did how, how did these illegal immigrants get guns how did they get weapons how were they deported three times and allowed back. It's insanity. Insanity. A population of 60,000 in Springfield, Ohio, just got a boost of 20,000 illegal immigrants. Insane. Where are the people? Why don't the people stand up? Because I'm going to tell you right now. If that were to happen in this small town of 300 and some people that I live in, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, problem would be handled and the problem would be solved you know so so where are the citizens of aurora colorado the citizens of springfield uh ohio the police aren't doing anything what, what about all the other cities and towns across america who are being ravaged and turned into a third world city because of these illegals when are the people going to stand up and do something about it i've had enough if you stand up and go and decide to do something about it, trust me, I have your back. I'll answer the call.
you know, I, I'll answer the call of duty. I'm tired of this. This is my country. This is our country. This is our land. It ain't theirs. They don't have rights. They're illegals. We do. If you see this shit going on in your town or your city, don't be complacent. That's what they want. That's how they're getting away with it. Band up some friends and do something about it. I'm not saying break the law. I'm not saying, you know, do all that. But, but you know, if they're taking over apartment buildings, armed, do what you have to do to protect your family and your land and your property and your country and yourself. Um, you know, I, I don't know what that entails, but, but, but you have to do something. We can't just stand around anymore. Standing around and just letting it happen isn't doing anything. And just hope that it gets better? <laughs> yeah, okay. Because that's going to do something right. No. Get off your ass and do something about it. You know, if and when this country gets completely overrun by illegals, it's our fault. It will be completely, 100% entirely, our fault. We let it happen. These are... Man, these people that are coming, we're not getting the best. We're getting gang members. We're getting criminals. And you know what? Think about this. They're coming from third world countries. These people turned their countries into a third world shithole. So why do I want them here to do the same thing to my beautiful country? Pardon my language, but fuck that. Fight back. Like Trump said, fight, fight, fight. Vote Donald J. Trump November 5th. And thank you for watching this broadcast. This is Ryan with Conservative Corner Entertainment 2. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already.